Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with the Rising of the Shield Hero season two, episode number ten reaction. All right. The previous episode, um, we go to Kizuna's uh, place, the Kizuna's country where she was summoned, and everyone's happy. Uh, and when I don't know, in the beginning they were kind of uh, like kind of accepting Naofumi, but as soon as they realized that Naofumi is the hero from one on another world they realized that oh my god this guy is going to destroy our world so obviously people were like you know not looking at him kindly from their from that point onwards so obviously kizuna was not happy about that kizuna was like why are you acting like that and uh, you know kizuna herself doesn't know about all the waves and stuff so she doesn't understand why he now for me is a threat um all that aside we meet a new character ethnobult who is um kind of like philo and he's like a bunny we get to know in the end and he's like one of the protectors of the world or something like that and uh, he is the boat hero so he helps now for me out by like you know kind of uh, helping uh, like, you know, helping not helping but uh, yeah helping him to make not make it's like that's a weird way to say that to um to summon yeah summon summon is a good word summon um a familiar or something uh, like that who has connection with both Raftalia and himself they used his uh, like you know Raftalia's hair and his blood to make a familiar who Philo named uh, later on Raf so this familiar as long as it's alive and as long as you know like the connection is there she, you know, like, their family familiar can take them to Raftalia and uh, they are off on their journey to find uh, like you know, Raftalia and Philo and they find out where Philo is. Philo has been taken captured, like you know, captured by like a like a circus master or whatever. No, not a circus master. Sorry, that guy was like a noble, was like a like a rich boy who was just I don't know, like probably bored. So he like you know, he's kind of like you know, kind of making Philo like you know, tormenting her and everything, making people uh, like you know, like acting like a total you know douchebag and. Uh, uh we see that he kind of made like a thing where philo got like not tra like, transformed into like the purse like a species which is very similar to a humming fairy so when they went to like you know save philo um now for me was able to realize that's philo because they had the connection but <laughs> izuna and arisha weren't able to understand that but uh yeah we got her back and this time, you know, uh, again, uh, Naofumi was able to hold his anger, control him, and not use the rage shield. So Philo is safe; everything is working well. And in the end, like the, that that guy comes out, and Raf, like you know, Naofumi takes care of him, kind of like, kind of traumatizes him a little bit. And uh, then we suddenly see that the connection between Raftalia and him is gone. The familiar that is Rafchan is safe, but we don't know why the connection went away so that means probably something happened to the slave crest and in the end we see raftalia has been captured and taken to a place which looks like the the building especially and the people there looks a lot like people from feudal japan so we'll see what happens over there so i'm guessing we're going to continue from there let's see what happens this is episode number 10 so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go yeah like you know like the castle and everything the people the armor that they're wearing oh my god this episode is going to trigger me again i feel like yeah the trauma is acting up again Or maybe not. Ah. Oh. God damn. Yo, this is like a aura you can see. Yeah. We're gonna, s yeah. Wait, is that Lark? 
Oh my god, they have also been captured. All of them are here. Oh my god. Wait, you... Oh, they did not recognize her. Yeah, they did not recognize her. Yeah. Does she look that different? I don't think so. She's just a smaller version of her. <laughs> well, at least they're together. Like, thank God for that, I guess. You know, like, Aftale is not alone. Like, I, I thought that they were probably, like, I'm, I was pretty sure, like, Glass was here because we saw in the previous episode. So, I was guessing they were, like, you know, kind of probably hiding somewhere, biding for time. <laughs> no, they've been captured, I guess. I, I wonder how they were captured. Like, they're pretty high level, so... And this is their world, so they should be, there should not be that whole level difference. So, I don't know. No, no, wait, this is... No, no, this is their world, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, shit. Yeah, the enemies, you know. But this time you're in their world, so. Oh yeah. Okay. But uh, in this stage, they're also pretty powerless. Uh. <laughs> hmm. Well, they're stuck here. Hmm. Ugh, boy. Hmm, yep. Okay, talk about uh, Kizuna. Glass will probably be... Glass and Lark knows uh, Kizuna, that's why. Okay. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Hmm. But no. What's happened? Oh, she's a spirit. Oh, yeah, she'll get affected even more. Oh, my God. Can we take those talismans? Uh, probably not. She's going to be affected. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, that's true. Forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh boy, what do we do? Uh... 
ओके राइट देन वेट हाउ हाउ वेट हाउ डिड डिड दे स्किप सम पार्ट हियर आई थिंक दे स्किप सम पार्ट ओ माई गॉड ओके देर गो देर शोइंग इट नाउ ओके Ah, uh, that's what they did. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> well, nice. That's there you go. This was this was intelligent. Okay. Wow, they were able to escape quite easily. Um, Raftalia is. I was not expecting them to escape that easily. Like, I was thinking like, okay. Yeah, but. Yeah, true. Like I'm pretty sure Kyo knows now that um they have escaped. Yeah. <laughs> well. Yeah. What? Uh. <laughs> she, she wants to eat. There, that's the Japanese um clothing. <laughs> Damn, she's <laughs> okay. Damn, these deers are fierce. Deers are fierce. Okay. Well, are they even deer? What are these? Yeah, there you go. Yep, the. Like you know, eating and leveling up. Okay. <laughs> More money. Wait, one thing. Did Teresa's uh jewel in her head change? Wasn't it red, or am I mistaking it? Hmm. <laughs> okay. Wow, she's so different here. <laughs> yeah. All right, what's happening now? Oh my god. Uh I don't like this. But Donna. Wait. What? Yeah, so Ah, oh, that's why. Yeah, that's true. Okay. okay. I hope it's a good person. I, I don't want any more douchebags. Please stop. No more douchebags, please. Oh, is that how you become one? 
Ah. Hmm. I really hope it's not another douchebag. Like Kyo and like. Hmm. Okay. Okay, who is it? Ah, oh, damn it. Please stop. Ah, oh, I just. I hope he fails. I hope that the sword is like, nap. I'm not budging from here. Yes, yes, just, just, yeah, yeah, there you go. Thank you. So, I, I'm so glad that happened. Wait, what? Wait, oh my god. Oh my god. This is a good thing, but at the same time, she's now wanted now. Because uh, uh, that guy was there. He saw her. What? What's happening? Oh, is that why the slave crest went away? Shut the hell up. It's, yeah. Why is she alone? Like, what? Oh my god. But, but I think because she got the. Is that why? Oh, she's growing up. Oh, my God. Oh, no, her clothes. Oh, Lord. Yeah, she, she like, you know, like, she, since she's bigger, cannot properly. Uh... Yeah, she's completely grown up. What? Oh my god. Yeah, she... yeah, she has reverted back to her original form now. Yeah, now she is the katana, has a katana vas vassal weapon. Mm. Oh, what? Okay. Um. Oh. Yeah, like the the sword shows you. Dame hero. Oh, dame hero. Okay. Damn! Like Rafsal got an immense power boost.
kind of interesting that she became a hero here in this world. Yeah, you're gonna get beaten up. Okay, yes, thank you. Let's let's beat him up now. Beat him up. Let's come on. Shut up. Yeah. Obviously he will not. Shut the hell up. Nobody cares. Yeah. Le okay, let's see. Let's see what you can do. Come on. Uh. Come on. Just just yeah, show him. He needs to know his to know his place. He needs to know his place. There you go. Damn. Oh! You stupid. He, she took your mana. Are you stupid? Wait, are those... Okay, no, no. I thought these two were those two girls. Just like the talisman. Nobody cares. These people are so delusional, you know, like they see, they see that the, the other person is so strong. They still don't understand. Oh my God. Oh, what is this? Oh, my Biako copies are dead. How can that happen? Obviously, we fought the spirit tortoise. No, he won't listen. He, he won't listen. He's that type of a character. Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh my god. Ah. Oh my god. Wait. Don't touch him. Yep. Yeah. Oh, he also didn't realize that. Okay. Now you're... Wow, this guy is so shameless. I cannot. At first he was threatening her. And now she's... Wow. Oh my god, what now? Okay, well, hello there. Can you please leave? What is that noise we are hearing from that? Oh god. I'm, I'm pretty sure Nafumi is already here, probably. Yeah, there you go. He has been following her. Using Raf. There you go. Oh god, thank god. Yep, there she is. <laughs> yeah, she's still not there. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a beast. She can handle it. Mm. Yeah, now I'm a hero. I have the vessel weapon katana. <laughs> well. Mm. Oh.
Yeah, I, I think it's probably because of the weapon. Is it? Hmm. Huh? Okay. Uh. That's it. Okay, thank God. They're back. Like, not back, but they're reuni reunited. Now, one thing I'm kind of curious. So, like, one thing's confusing me. She became a hero of this world. So, how is this going to work like technically they are supposed to represent their world and defeat the other world or destroy the other world if you think of it in that way she became a hero of this world so like from here onwards shouldn't her loyalty lie with this world but her loyalty lies with naofumi and naofumi's loyalty li lies with his world that is you know like um the, the world where we came from so, how is this going to work then? Like, I don't know. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sure they'll explain it to us, but this is one potential question coming to my mind. All right, that's the end, or is there something? No, that's the end. Okay, so there you go. This was episode number ten. Now, the episode went in such a different direction than I was expecting. The first thing that I was expected about for this episode is that I was like, okay, now like Laftali will be all alone. She will probably have to somehow escape alone. And like you know, she'll be like you know in trouble. This and that. This is probably going to uh, continue for like two episodes or three episodes or something. She'll be all stuck, and Naofumi is going to come and rescue her. And the season finale will be Naofumi rescuing her, or she coming out of this place and running away, something like that. None of that happened. First of all, she came here and she f uh, at the beginning even like only she she came and came to contact with glass Therese and lark that's number one so one of my things that i was expecting she'll be all alone didn't happen thank god for that so she she gets transported to one of those uh prisons and uh, the prison has this anti-magic whatever thing in there and it takes out like you know the spirit energy so she cannot do anything and inside is lark Therese and uh mm, um, glass so obviously glass is being more affected by this because it, she is a spirit and uh, spiritual energy is the main thing that constitutes her actual life force so this uh, cage in itself is seeping that out so that in itself is a huge problem um either way uh they at first they were not able to recognize her but then when raftalia like you know, looking at Raft, the way raftalia talked and you know like the way she was behaving they realized this was Raftalia and uh, they came to the decision that they're going to help Raftalia out this time. Now, another thing that, as I said, I expected was this was going to continue for a couple of episodes, two or three episodes. And the season finale will be her getting out. That also did not happen. They were able to get out very soon. In the first five minutes of this episode, all of that happened. So another thing that I... Like, you know, that I did not expect happening happened here. Wow, how they were able to do that is, first of all, uh, they, when they were talking, um, Raftalia, first of all, Raftalia talks about how um, they were transported to that uh, dimension, that other dimension. And she talks about the infinite labyrinth and how, um, you know, like, uh, Kizuna is there. And Glass obviously is very happy listening, uh, like, you know, hearing that Kizuna is okay and uh, she probably 
I'm guessing for her, Kizuna probably just vanished suddenly someday, and she probably thought like from like you know just lost all hope by the end of it. Uh, after a few years, she probably thought that she's not alive or something. So hearing that she's okay and she she definitely was very happy. So and she got excited and obviously because she got excited, she the whole spirit thing sapped started sapping more from her and she became even weaker. So here, you know, obviously Raftalia is like, so we need to like, you know, like get out of here. And uh, they are like, so how are we going to do that? Um, they talk about how they fell into a trap and they were transported here. And uh, okay, where is that part? Okay, yeah, they talk about how the weapons are not taken from them because they are kind of like cardinal weapons. They cannot be thrown away or just like you know, put somewhere else. They're going to come back to them. So it's impossible to put these weapons somewhere else. That's why the weapons are like with them and you cannot do anything. And to counteract the whole like, you know, power, they use the, the spirit binding technique or whatever to sap out the energy. Now, Raftalia says that even if we cannot use the full extent of the power, we can use it, can't we? They are like, yeah, we can do that. So Raftalia, like, you know, kind of makes an intelligent um, plan, which is she becomes invisible, like, you know, using her illusion. Obviously, um, becoming invisible doesn't need, I guess, like, you know, like, even if the power is being sapped out becoming invisible is the end result so as lark and all of them explained how even if we can't use much power the effects will be the same invisibility worked out pretty well and uh, at first she became invisible made the others invisible as well for a moment i think and uh, the guard was obviously like what the hell where is everyone opened the gate came out uh, came inside and they're like again they're all in front of him and he's like Okay, so the prisoners are here. Raftali was still invisible. Takes the, the thing, the, the talisman or whatever, and uh, gives it to Glass, who is the most powerful. And uh, using Glass, they were able to escape. This was a very good plan and it worked out so well because Raftali had allies with her. Now, as I said, like, you know, I expected this to go on for three or four, like, you know, th uh, two or three episodes. Because I thought they Raftali will be all alone. This shows how much you know, like having people with you is going to help. And Raftali wouldn't have been able to use this. Probably would have, but it would have been a lot more difficult. Like she could have easily became invisible, stayed there for a moment, and when obviously the guard would come in, you know, she could have like knocked the guard out, take the talisman for herself, and run away. But it would have been a, a lot more complicated process if she was by herself. Uh, Therese, uh, Glass and Lark being there helped her out immensely and she was easily able to get out of the prison. And there you go, another thing I was proved wrong, nah, you know, they were able to get out as well that easily. So, okay, now our crew, our new crew, they talk about how they're going to help Raftali out this time, take them to school, yeah, and uh, All right now they are in the in the town and they have like you know like some stuff to hide their identity they're moving and they talk about how they are going to level up you know raftalia and at the same time going to journey so no money raftalia is hungry since she is still in a growing phase <laughs> she decides to sell all her jewels it's kind of handy to have so many jewels you know like because jewels fetch a lot of price so yeah, they needed to sell, sell the jewels to feed Raftalia, <laughs> Raftalia with her huge, like, you know, appetite for now. Like, you know, like she, she needs a lot of food. <laughs> oh, my God. And, uh, yeah, they even changed their clothes. They, like, you know, put, put on some, like, you know, Japanese clothes, like yukata, kimono, all that. And, uh, yeah, Raftalia starts eating. Everyone's like, wow, you eat a lot. <laughs> Probably because of your growing face. <laughs> oh god 
But yeah, Raftalia, like, you know, like, gets a new sword. She starts, uh, like, you know, kind of training, not training, but, like, you know, kind of fighting and killing beasts, gaining more and more level. And she was also growing up, you know, like, her joints hurt because of the growth spurt or whatever. And uh, <laughs> this, again, has to pay more, has to sell more because <laughs> Raftalia's, <laughs> you know, needs a better sword. And... Uh, yeah, now here we see how like, Raftalia and uh, Glass talks about uh, how Raftalia says that, oh, you make these clothes, don't you? Like, no, you're also the one who made these, uh, the clothes for Kizuna, didn't you? And uh, here we can see that uh, Glass is quite like, kind of embarrassed and we can see how much, like, how much of a good friend Glass and Kizuna are. And... Uh, you know, like Raftalia talks about how she was so happy for this, for the dress that Kizuna uh, Glass made for her, all that, and yeah. And we can see how they are, like, you know, like, kind of becoming more and more, as time goes on, friends. I don't know what's going to happen after all of this ends, you know, like, how are they going to fight again, you know? How? Like, before we barely even knew them, and that's why we could fight them, now that we know them, you know, like Rafta, uh, Nafumi is more acquainted with Kizuna, while Raftalia is more acquainted with Glass, Lark, and Therese. So, how? After they go back, I don't know how it's going to go. Like, you know, it, it'll be a very big problem, I feel like. Like, both won't be able to fight each other again. So, maybe they'll have to think of something else, you know? The whole wave situation and all that maybe they will have to start thinking of some other alternative ways instead of just trying to kill each other and destroy the other person's world so yeah i don't know we'll see anyways um so next day when they were walking they find out that the selection of the katana hero is happening i'll be honest i was not expecting raftalia to become one you know but i was i was just praying i was like let please let like you know like someone good become the wielder we don't want any more douchebags you know like the q is one of them another one is this guy the uh, i again forgot his name what was his name anyways that blue haired guy you know like another guy another one was that guy like you know his massive ego this and that like i'm like please for the love of god no more people like that and i guess my wish did come true, but I was not expecting Raftali to become the, the katana hero. I should have, I should have, like, you know, like, I should have realized that. I should have anticipated that because Raftali uses swords, you know, like, so, yeah, it should have come to my mind that maybe Raftali will become the hero. But I guess the fact that she can even become a hero from this world never kind of registered in my mind, you know. Like, I was under the impression that, oh, like, your world, your, you can become the hero from there. Like, she's from the other world, so her coming to this world and becoming a hero of this world, I don't think it ever came to my mind. That's why I, I think I completely brushed off Raftalia and didn't even think that she would become a hero. Because this is another world. I still don't know how it actually works. As I said, like, you know, this, the, the heroes are supposed to save the world. So how is this even going to work? Raftali is not from this world. So now that she has become the hero of this world, what is going to happen? So I'm guessing I'm going to get an explanation in the future. I'm, probably they themselves will explain to us how this is going to go. But either way, you know. Okay, so yeah, they are in, in this place, in the shrine. And um, I think that was a shrine. Yeah. So the the, sh the uh, what do you call it? The sword was like lodged in in the ground, and you need to take it out. So <clears throat> they say that the vassal weapon itself chooses its holder, and uh, there were candidates over here. The first candidate is okay. Let me check out his name again. What's his name? Um, wait a minute. Uh, Kazuki. Okay, yeah, Kazuki. Kazuki. All right. So Kazuki, you know, goes in, and I'm like, please, please, just, just, just reject him. You no, know? I don't know. Like you know, 
please somehow the sword should reject him and as soon as the sword started glowing the katana sorry not sword the katana started glowing and he was like oh my god what is this how am i not worthy and the whole thing kind of like you know just flashed the whole place started flashing i was like yes thank god you know like <laughs> this guy thank god he's not capable like you know like not capable but not worthy enough to wield the weapon but then what happens takes me by complete surprise i was happy with the fact in itself that he was not the chosen one <laughs> but it became even better when the whole the, the katana just went to raftalia <laughs> but this had a big problem you know their identity is in front of them now everyone everyone is like looking at them even kazuki just looked at her and was like oh my god now one thing i did not understand I thought Kazuki recognized her. No, he did not actually, which we kind of get a confirmation later on. He later realizes that he, this girl is the same girl from before, uh, who was with Naofumi. I really don't understand. Is it, is it that difficult to like, um, I don't know, maybe because we are looking at Raftalia every episode, that it's not actually difficult for us to, you know, figure it out that this is Raftalia, even though she's small or like you know big but like they look the same it's just that their height and everything is i don't know <laughs> anyway like i guess animal logic or something or maybe maybe this is this has some kind of a um, bigger deeper meaning which probably the anime did not show us maybe it has like some kind of a like you know like when raftalia is smaller maybe like you know like something happens which is why they're not able to recognize her or something or when she becomes like, you know levels up and becomes bigger maybe something changes and that's why they are not able to something like that maybe maybe the anime did not tell us like because i've seen a lot of animes kind of do this it seems very normal but in in the inside it has a deeper bigger explanation which the anime never tells us and it just you know like probably the light novel readers or the manga readers know better so i don't know anyways um so yeah she has a weapon now and it's 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 good it's happy i guess you can say she's more stronger now but it's a big problem for now because everyone's chasing her and kazuki's like give me back my sword and like you know it's so ironic that the people here they were talking about how the uh, like you know all the guards and everyone they were talking about how the rightful owner will be chosen blah 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 and as soon as the sword itself chooses the rightful owner they're like in denial they're like oh my god kazuki did not become the wielder so yeah that's not happening we should hunt down uh, like you know the, the the thief who stole the thing from us like what you guys are delusional like <laughs> like half of the people in this show are delusional completely they just you know anyways um so we kind of get to see what happened after that like you know now raftalia just like you know like Therese decided to not Therese, but everyone was like come on like you know run away with us but raftalia just like you know kind of left them because she probably thought that they're also getting going to get involved in her own mess she did not want to do that so she just like you know just ran away and i'm guessing uh Therese, uh lark and glass are probably still trying to find her but either way, Raftalia runs away and we can see she's, as she's running away, she's getting bigger and bigger because she's wielding the katana. And she's, that's also affecting her, you know, the growth of pain and everything. And like, you know, the clothes, the, the dress is getting shorter and shorter. And uh, like, you know, like it, it's, it's a problem. So she keeps running and she comes to a shrine. And uh, she, she's thinking about uh, Naofumi and thinks about how she cannot die before she meets uh, Nafume again, even if he does not forgive her, this and that. And um, in comes one of the shrine maidens, and he is like, Oh, like, you know, like, are, are you the, like, you know, you're, the, you're the hero, you're the katana hero, the, the sword cho chose you. And uh, thank God this girl was at least rational, like, you know, half of the people in the, in the shrine were like, oh like you know you stole it but this girl at least was like oh the the the, the, the sword chose you which is what actually happened but these people were just delusional and kazuki is like my sword you stole it <laughs> anyways um 
she brings her in and gives her some dress you know like a, a good uh, uh yukata i think yeah and uh Raftala is like all right i'm ready now and she comes out and uh kazuki comes in and kazuki is like i was supposed to be the wielder i am the uh the rightful owner why have you stolen it blah 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 and uh <laughs> Raftal is like back away now <laughs> otherwise i cannot guarantee your safety and you see how like you know how what type of a i don't know like what type of a person this guy is here he's so high and mighty talking about like oh i'm going to kill you like you know you're going to like you know pay the price this and that tries to attack her Raftale just kind of swings her weapon and boom the mana and that was probably the mana wasn't it like you know as far as i could understand did not like you know cut him you know like did not give him any physical wound but his mana was sapped up and she kind of swings the weapon in the other direction and uh, instead of blood i think that was like the or was it no i don't think that was blood no that was not blood for a moment i thought that was censored blood you know like because i've seen anime do this sometimes <laughs> like they completely whiten the blood and i'm like, like you know not anime but because of heavy censorship sometimes it does happen you know like red blood is like completely white or green and <laughs> it looks weird for a moment i was like was that actually blood or was it censored but then i realized like no later on the whole battle with the uh, tigers you know we actually see red blood so that was not blood that was something else that was probably the mana that she took and nothing happened to kazuki you know like he his man, mana just got sapped out i think now obviously kazuki doesn't realize kazuki is like like oh my magic and then he's like oh you cannot do anything and starts laughing brings in um two uh byako copies i think yeah that's what he said and he's like ah these things will take care of you and uh oh boy obviously raftali just is apologizes goes and slashes them in half and now kazuki is like oh my my you know my my familiar they're dead and he still is delusional, doesn't like you know, listen to it, like tries to attack her. Talia, like, like, what the hell are you trying to do? You're, you're trying to fight the, the katana hero with a katana. He also has a katana, doesn't he? He's trying to find the katana hero with a katana. Like, okay, well, like, I guess he's so delusional. He probably, like, I, I guess he genuinely believes that Raftalia stole it. Or something like that like that's what happens you know like these type of people who has this type of bloated ego and who are just so delusional that they don't understand that they are not worthy enough this is what happens they saw in front of them that raftalia got it and the sword chose them chose her but no he's like oh how can this happen i am supposed to be the one how, like she, it must be because she stole it like you know the the, the sword did not choose her she must have stole it so that's how much a big of an ego they are that they're completely blind to what's happening and they're just in this fantasy world where they think that they are the best and uh, he he didn't even accept the fact that raftalia rightfully got it he's just like ah she must have stolen it it's mine and uh, i generally think that's what he thinks probably like it's, it's, it's actually sad kind of like you know like how much of a delusion these people are in that they don't even try to accept the fact that maybe i am not as good as i thought i was maybe there's someone better than me either way you know like he he tries to attack again raftalia like slashes him and raftalia is like don't try to move otherwise the, the same thing will happen to you what happened to the tigers and uh kazuki is the two attendants or whatever i don't know who they are they come and try to heal her uh, he'll heal him and here he realizes like raftalia is actually uh the shield like with the shield it's the same girl and uh, kazuki is like oh okay uh raftalia asks like why do you want to be of use to kyo so much but one interesting thing that he says here is that no i don't want to be of his use i want to actually 
you know, like one up him or something like that, he said. So he has his own plans, that means. So, okay, I guess. Um, Raftalia warns him that tells her if you see Kyo, tell him that we are going to go and take Host's revenge. Shield hero is coming. Yeah, and this is where he realizes that it's, it's the same girl. And here, I like, can see how his whole tone changes. He's like, please, that really belongs to Mo, me. It must have been a mistake that you and I have to. See? You see this. This is what I was talking about. This type of delusion. They, these people think they are so much better than everyone else. It, it, they, it doesn't even register in their brain that maybe they are not. Maybe the soul really did choose her. He's saying that it must have been a mistake that went. Okay. Yeah, I guess. And he starts screaming. She's like, are you listening? Wait. And yeah, obviously, Raftala just goes on her own way. And I think the original, was that the original Byakko? Or was that another copy that comes? I think this was the original Byakko. Or I don't know. I'm not so sure. Either way, another, like, you know, the beast comes out and Raftel is all you know, no more power left but not to worry like because um oh I, one thing i forgot to mention um the, the the crest is gone you know after the the weapon came to her the crest is gone and i'm not sure if the weapon coming to her made the crest probably that you know like because the timing matches so much like when as soon as he got the weapon the, the crest went away and that's when uh Rafta, nafumi probably realized like oh the crest is gone and like you know that's that's how it was happening so either way um uh, Rafta, uh nafumi was tracking uh, uh nafumi was tracking raftalia with the familiar so he, he was already on his way so he was able to come here and philo is here um, everyone's here, like, you know, Kizuna is here, Philo tries to attack the tiger, but nothing happens, she's still a little bit weak. Uh, but yeah, Raftalia comes and, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Nafumi comes and protects Raftalia, while Kizuna comes and defeats the tiger, because it's a beast, and she's the hunting hero. And, uh, and Nafumi asks, like, oh, you're crest, and she says how the crest is gone. Nafuma was probably going to say something like, oh, it's okay, you are free now, like, you know, you can do whatever you want to, or something like that. But obviously, after it doesn't let him finish it, he goes and hugs him. And uh, there you go. That's how it ended, happily. So, thank God, no more, <laughs> you know, no more unnecessary <laughs> headaches. I think everyone's back. Thank Hopefully everyone's fine and uh, now our main goal is to go and show Kyo who he messed with so yeah we're probably going to do that later on oh and obviously I, I think like we're also going to probably um meet up again with glass and glass terrace and lark because they are still trying to find raftalia you know in this commotion so that's also probably going to happen we'll see anyways that was it that was my reaction to episode number 10 of uh, the Rising of the Shield Hero season 2. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, and comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, and I'll check them out. So that was it. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next week with another episode of the Rising of the Shield Hero. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.